recognizing Port Moody Coquitlam. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Many people are upset at the price of gasoline right now. Why has the price gone up so dramatically over the last few weeks? Just over a month ago, the prices of gas were under $1.30 a litre, and now the prices have gone up over 30 cents in the last month. One of the reasons is because crude oil prices have gone up. We know the gas prices are tied to crude oil prices, but they only account for some of that gain. It isn't the whole answer. Crude oil prices were 60 percent higher in 2014, but we're hitting all-time highs today. We're hitting all-time highs when we're nowhere near the all-time highs of crude oil prices. Something is not adding up. That extra money is going somewhere. So here's what we do know. There was a research report in 2018 that looked into gas prices, and this is what it said. Since 2015, gasoline and diesel prices in the Vancouver area market appear to have decoupled from supply costs, resulting in high prices that cannot be attributed to the competitive market forces or scarcity of supply. The prices, Madam Speaker, are not set by the market anymore. The data actually shows that since 2014, refinery margins, the revenue from refining, have dramatically risen in BC and are now nearly double the Canadian average. The revenue from refining in BC is nearly double the rest of Canada. And the data shows that this is not a supply issue. In fact, the Port of Vancouver has been a net exporter of gasoline and diesel. Some people are saying, let's build the Kinder Morgan pipeline. That'll solve our problems. Well, it's just not true. The data in the report shows that this is not a supply problem. A pipeline is not the answer. And some people are saying, lower the carbon tax. That will solve our problems. The carbon tax went up one cent. One cent on April 1st. Eliminating the carbon tax is not the answer to reducing gas prices. So what is the answer? Right now, 80 to 90 percent of the fuel supplied to our market is supplied by four firms. There is a fundamental lack of competition. That's what it says in the report. Adding more supply will not reduce gas prices because of this lack of competition. The only solution is to reduce demand. And we can do this. We can do this. We can reduce demand by creating a market for alternative fuels to create more competition. We can reduce demand by expanding public transit. We can reduce demand by mandating minimum sales of electric vehicles. We can reduce demand by providing credits to purchase those vehicles. These are the things our government is doing with Clean BC. We're investing over $900 million to address climate change and to move toward a low-carbon economy because it's not something we can continue to ignore. We know that Canada is warming twice as fast as the global average, and our children are facing a frightening future. We won't get off gasoline overnight. No one says we will. So we need to understand why these gas prices are so high here in BC and do what we can to reduce demand. The solutions that some people are presenting will not solve the problem when there is a lack of competition in the market. That's simple economics, something the BC Liberals don't apparently understand. The answer is to reduce demand, and one of the ways we are doing this is by moving toward a lower carbon economy. Thank you, Madam Speaker.